What's going on, guys? It's Chris, and I'm one with the Force. What's going on, guys? Hey, Chris here. I got a special video for you guys, first of its kind, with the gameplay in the background, my Battlefront 2 gameplay. Uh, make sure you guys go ahead and like this video and subscribe. It really helps out, especially when we just getting this channel started. It really helps get the channel out there. So uh, take this time and hit the subscribe button and like. Today we're going to be talking about a game I fell in love with uh, right away, Star Wars Battlefront 2. That came out about two years ago. I've been playing the whole time. I'm a maxed out player. <laughs> Don't claim to be the best player. You know, I see some of these guys with a 100 kill streak, all that stuff. And I'm, you know, I'm not claiming to have done all of that stuff, but I'm pretty good and have had a lot of fun with it uh, as a Star Wars fan and just as a gamer. Uh, and I kind of wanted to talk about that. Uh, I think most people have a similar opinion to me. Uh, you know in terms of the things they do and don't like about this game But I kind of wanted to take it to some time and discuss some of the things I like about it and uh, give you guys a chance to let me know some of the things you've liked about the game Some of the things you would improve or, or things that you don't like the game. Maybe you just didn't enjoy it in general uh, And So without further ado, let's let's get into this The very very first thing I have to mention and these are in no particular order. Let me say that first is <laughs> As a Star Wars fan, I think most people will understand me on this. The, the biggest reason I really enjoyed this game is that it wasn't, it wasn't the first Star Wars Battlefront game. I don't know if you guys remember this, but in 2015 there was another Star Wars game coming out just as Force Awakens was coming and it was, it was beautiful, it was advertised great, we were going to be getting all these Star Wars battles, it was really going to bring us into the Star Wars universe and, and we get it and it looks beautiful, everything's great until you realize that it only has original trilogy content. Now, I, I have no idea who, who made that decision, but I just don't understand how you could have Star Wars coming back, this huge movie, Force Awakens coming, you're marketing this game coming out with it, and there'd be no material from the new trilogy, the, the trilogy they're trying to sell. There was no material at all from that. I, I mean, no one can try to convince me that that wasn't a huge mistake on that first battlefront and it just it's severely limited what that game can do in terms of all the characters I remember having the game and they would you know send these updates and oh we're gonna have these new heroes and you're just like what who like where is obi-wan where is, is is yoda like where are these these characters instead we're getting you know these these jabronis you know i mean i don't want to disrespect some of the characters we got you know uh some of them were good you know especially with the rogue one update but yeah i just to me the first battlefront was a big disappointment from someone that's just just a star wars game fan you know maybe as just a shooting game fan it had some things but from someone that just wanted to get in there and and relive the battles of all the movies and the shows i've been watching for so long it it was just very disappointing and battlefront 2 really really hit the mark in this area so that's the first thing i wanted to bring up about a while of the game the, the next thing I want to bring up uh, kind of goes with something I brought up earlier was, yeah, I bought this game almost two years ago. Uh, I believe it came out in November of 2017, and I am still playing the heck out of this game. And the biggest reason for that now, we all know about the rocky start that this game this game had, and maybe I'll make a separate video about some of the things I've disliked about the game, and, you know, because it definitely has had it, its moments and its periods of time where it was less fun to play maybe not just unplayable but less fun to play uh, but uh, one of the this goes hand in hand is, is the update there's been so many updates there in this game that have kept it fresh and kept it alive and you know allowed it to be played you know two years later uh, and I I personally don't have a lot of experience with games that last this long obviously I know that, you know, everyone knows that games are are updating constantly now you know <laughs> doesn't matter what game you're getting you, you can expect it to update a few times and then have some DLC evolve uh, but in terms of playing something two years later and still getting updates I mean the only games I've had experience like that would, would be mobile games you know you like, know in line with like the clash of clans or the pokemon goes where i mean but those are expected to be updated so uh i, I definitely have a tip to have to battlefront too especially with that launch i mean i remember there were a lot of people speculating that we we would not be getting the content that we would that we've been getting you know so uh i'm, I'm proud of the game for that you know the developers getting that done for us again I, i've loved the game and you know as long as it's been going to continue it looks like it's going to for the next couple months Hey, shout out to them for that, and, and I really do appreciate each and every one of these updates. 
Now, this next one was one I hadn't thought about until I was thinking about topics and just thinking about the you know, state of the franchise and all these things, Star Wars, is, you know, I think sometimes people miscredit how much a game can not only keep a franchise alive, but just keep its fan base active and, and you know, involved during periods where there might not be as much content out. And, you know, I think about, you know, say whatever you want to say about The Last Jedi, uh, there are people that love Star Wars that feel a certain way about it, and that's just undeniable. And a lot of people that have felt uneasy about this time, even though some of us have not. Some of us have, you know, maybe had issues with The Last Jedi, but still thought it was fine and ultimately, you know, loved the sequel trilogy. That I put myself in that category. Um, but still, you would hate to think about this time period after The Last Jedi with the Han Solo movie. And they're not being a battlefront too for Star Wars fans, you know. Like I said, how polarizing this already is. Can you imagine not being able to have, you know, uh, Star Wars Battlefront Two, where you can go relive all these epic battles, play with everyone's favorite heroes, you know, and just however, however you're involved with the, you know, the series, whatever your favorite trilogy is, you have all those heroes there, you know, you can live through all these different maps and play through these battles. I mean, it that is something you have to think about when you think about uh, the state of the franchise right now if there was no battlefront 2 if they had cut it off after the launch and it was dead after a year where where would star wars be i know for someone like myself it, it, it's given me countless hours over this time to play with these characters that i love and, and you know be involved in these stories it, it i mean you can't discount that i think that's you gotta give uh, a lot of respect for them and seeing that potential opportunity by, by keeping this game going you know you, you've kept your fan base active you know you've kept them involved and and playing through and passionate about something so uh i, I think i gotta give battlefront 2 a lot of credit for that uh you know and just in in this rough time for some star wars fan giving us something to to be excited about and play through and, and be happy about and show our fandom the next thing i wanted to get to is the heroes yes this kind of goes hand in hand with what i was saying about you know the first battlefront game but just the lack of heroes and no cross arrow play i mean but this game this game picks up where <laughs> I mean, it goes all in with the heroes. We have, I think it's what, 20 heroes on each side, maybe 18, but just a full cast full of saber heroes, blaster heroes. They all play beautifully. I mean, I think any all of us Star Wars fans know that if it wasn't for the heroes in this game, I mean, we, we would not be still playing this thing. I mean, having these battles, I mean, I, know, I love playing with Rey and, and Anakin and Yoda and on the dark side, I got Kylo and Vader and Dooku, all just my mains, man, and, you know, even all the all of them are really good, and they just, they just add to the game, uh, you know, watching how they've changed them, updated them over time, you know, <laughs> on my dislikes, I'll definitely bring up how some of them have taken, took a little too long for my liking, but no, they're, they're all fun to play with, they really just put you in the Star Wars universe, uh, and I I really appreciate the detail that was put into these heroes and making them feel and just look great, man. Uh, you know, these these are the characters that, that people fell in love with. So uh, it, it's great that they're done so beautifully. Uh, they really add it to the game. They make Star Wars Battlefront 2 its own unique game. It's what separates it from any other shooter and game that you play, you know. You know, I played a little Fortnite uh, over the summer, getting back into that, and and you just, you know, I realized just as a Star Wars fan, like nothing can beat this game because of these heroes, because I get to battle through these maps and battle on Yavin and battle on the, the Death Star and, and the Star Killer base and you know all these places where I've, I've I've imagined and seen through this emotional story that I've just been tied to for so long. Uh, you know, this this is a beautiful game. You know, I have to, I have to bring the reinforcements in there too. They along with that and in the classes i mean just just awesome stuff and it's definitely just one of the reasons why i love this game man the last one i want to bring up is the immersion now i've been kind of mentioning it and hinting at it this whole time on the different things i brought up but just the way this game puts you in the star wars universe like man I, i've only quite had this you know i think spider-man ps4 did a great job with it just really making you feel like spider-man but I mean, Battlefront 2 has just put you in the Star Wars universe uh, in a way that I didn't think was quite possible for a shooting game, for it to not be Jedi Fallen Order that's coming later this year or something in, in that line, for it to be just like a shooting game and it to just feel so, uh, and look so beautiful and just put you right on these maps and with these characters and really having you live it out and, and, and battle through. I mean, it's, 
I mean, it is awesome in that way. And that's just a complete 180 from what the first Battlefront game was, and why I was so upset with that because it didn't have any characters, it didn't have any maps, couldn't couldn't relive anything because it didn't have much in there. And then this just gives you everything. You know, it's giving us all these maps from the new trilogy, from the old trilogy, from the prequels. I mean, I, I can't say enough about this. This is why this is why I love this game, man. I, I can't say enough about it. It's, I love this game for that reason. I can't say enough about it. That's why I continue to play. They got instant action coming now, which means I'm probably going to be playing for another two years. Uh, just because this puts you in the Star Wars universe. After Rise of Skywalker, I'll be able to play through a battle on each and every Star Wars movie. Disney Plus, watch a movie, go replay the movie, watch the next movie, go replay the movie again. Like It, it, it is that immersive. So uh, shout out to Battlefront 2 for that. Last thing, uh, and I just kind of want to bring this up a topic to you guys. Where does Star Wars Battlefront 2 rank for you as far as your favorite Star Wars games? You know, to me, it is my favorite game. I know everyone's going to have a different perspective on that. Um, but Star Wars Battlefront 2 is the most fun I've ever had playing a Star Wars video game. And I feel comfortable saying that. I know a lot of people uh, would say the original Battlefront 2. Uh, to me, this just this just captured me even further. You know, it has a whole other trilogy. Um you know, a trilogy that I really love and characters that I, I, I love, you know, the immersion, it, it looks better to me, presents a little better. But again, let me know what your guys' opinion is. It'd be great if Jedi Fallen Order just knocks this out of the park and is even better. I'm super excited about that game. Um, but yeah, in the comments, let me guys know what you think about this game. What do you love about it? Um, you know, I will have a video talking about some of the things I, I dislike as well. So look, look out for that. Make sure you guys like this video and, and subscribe. Liking these videos really helps it get out there as I continue to make Star Wars videos, Star Wars Battlefront 2 videos. So take a second to like this video if you're watching now and subscribe and look out for me in the future with more Star Wars content. Thanks for watching.